coming live from the Honda Indy in Toronto, Ontario. It's live from last week, episode 82. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Jay Rockers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So, post night shift, after having a record setting low amount of sleep this morning, I met up with the parents at the local Hakka Number no. 1 restaurant to take them out for some delicious Hakka food for lunch. And letting my mom take over the camera for a little bit. I had her do some cinematography work and figured out where I got my camera skills from. And yeah, after making this video to say hi to the sister while we were having lunch. Hi Nika. Happy lunch day. We all made our way back to the condo, as you guys can see here, so that mom could help refit the wife for a dress that she had, as well as help hem some of the pants that I'll be wearing at the wedding for my brother-in-law in August. And while we were doing that, I let my dad try out my beloved Toronto Blue Jays Snuggie. And after parting ways for the day, if you guys can't tell, I'm at the Harborfront Center in Toronto after dropping off the wife at the Amsterdam Brewery near here with a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my close childhood friends that I had back when I was at Mother Teresa. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Erin. Happy birthday, Tanner. Next up, a birthday greeting for one of my childhood soccer friends back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Anthony. Happy birthday, Tony. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to one of the most talented friends that I have. Being a cross sport athlete, excelling in both soccer and basketball. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Monique. Happy birthday, Monique. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And continuing on where I'm headed to the Sky Dome, aka Rogers Center, to meet up with one of my co-workers, as well as the wife and a group of her own co-workers, to catch the Jays game against the Phillies tonight. Yo, Robert! Cheers, Cheers man. Enjoying my first draft beer since the pandemic. And hot what dogs. is this? Looney hot dog day! <laughs> A hidden secret about the Rogers Center here? Oh, 200 level deck, patio area. Cheers, Robert. <laughs> so after a great time last night at the Blue Jays game, getting to see a giant loony. One, two, three, cheese! Watching Jamie Campbell from his Sportsnet studio. Spending some quality time hanging out with the wife's co-workers. Woo! Let's go Blue Jays! Blue Jays! <laughs> Who am I with? Dina. Dina! <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> and enjoying a Jays win, snapping their losing streak. I can honestly say I had a pretty great time last night. But on to today, after driving the wife to work earlier this morning for her day shift, I've been chilling at home and now I'm at the Scarborough GO station. The main reason being, y'all remember this scene from a couple weeks back. Right here is your Father's Day gift. Thank you. Along with a brand new Blue Jays gift card which I'm hoping that sometime in the near future, I could use to buy tickets for him for an upcoming Blue Jays game. Well, this evening, I'm going back downtown to meet up with the parents and treat my dad out for his Father's Day gift, a Blue Jays game. So let's go find my parents. Guys, after watching a great Blue Jays game today and lining up to get a Kevin Gossman bobblehead doll, 
while my parents were trying to refigure out how to use their old school digital cameras together, and attending a game where they had a garage sale for the Blue Jays, with all proceeds going to the Jays Care Foundation, and me spontaneously buying a jersey from my mom. Mom, this is for you. Right. 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 An authentic Ezekiel Carrera home jersey. A new Blue Jay shirt for my dad. Go. Dad, here. All right. This is for you. And a brand new Canada Day red Vladimir Guerrero jersey for the wife. There you go. Happy birthday. <laughs> Not to mention hearing that one of my friends had a hotel room over at the Sky Dome Hotel today. Trying to paparazzi videotape where she is and locate her waving from a distance. With the one and only negative part about the game is this episode, where I sadly and mistakenly dropped some ketchup and mustard on my jersey. But anyways, this Blue Jay game was pretty fun nonetheless. Before I wrap it up for the evening, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my beach volleyball friends that I haven't played with in a while, but can't wait to see him and play against him in the summer. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Joseph. Happy birthday, Joseph. To follow up, we got a birthday greeting to one of my old university friends back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Paula. Happy birthday, Paula. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of my CA friends who I'm remembering back in our Neil Weissick days and the times that I would see her working at the ACC. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Andrea. Happy birthday, Andrea. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. This morning, guys, I woke up early because I was very worried about those stains that I got on my jersey last night. And so I took my jersey out and started to pre-treat it by putting some detergent and some water on the spots of ketchup and mustard that I had there. Started rubbing those in and dabbing the stains to the point where now you can barely see where those stains are. And soon I'll be able to toss the jersey into the wash and have it good to go for the next game. Also, earlier this afternoon, while going shopping for some groceries, I had a mad craving for some junk food in the form of the Filipino favorite, Chicharron. So bad for you, but so good. But I decided that before I even opened the bag and treat myself out to this delicious treat, I had to get back on the bike and try to work off some calories in order to earn the Chicharron. And while on the bike, I remembered that with the t-shirt that I have on right now and the medal that I have hanging on my bedside table, that in just 10 days after signing myself up a couple of months ago, this guy has a triathlon. Which, if you guys have followed my vlog, you would already know that I haven't even started to train for this race yet. So, what's your input, guys? Should I start training and do a quick 10-day training plan? Or should I just show up at the starting line without any training at all? Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Either way, tonight, I'm going in for my first of my set of two night shifts tonight. But before I go to work, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of our friends in Ottawa that I've played indoor volleyball with over there, as well as some beach volleyball on the sands of Woodbine Beach. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Andrew. Happy birthday, Andrew. Next up, we got a birthday shout out to one of my foreign exchange student friends that I met while she was at Neil Wysick. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Kirsten. Happy birthday, Kirsten. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my former roommates, with whom I'm remembering the good times with her, Jeffers, and Zoltan back in 2H. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Van. Happy birthday, Van. I'm hoping that all my friends out there that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So this morning, I got off my night shift, Remembering that I had one of those miraculous close street level parking lots that are pretty rare. Considering that I've only had one of these type of parking spots only a couple times in the past. But later on after taking my post night shift nap, the wife and I took a journey in the mini to a local plaza where she had a UPS package to pick up. Mentioning that it was a very special package that she ordered a while back. 
which she told me that both her and I will be able to utilize in the next couple of weeks. And once we got home, we were able to open up this package that she bought as a present for the both of us. We got a matching set of Mono's travel luggages with so many storage compartments that we don't even know what to do with all of them. And they also included some baggage luggage tags that we will be able to use on our travels. Along with this nice little surprise today, I'm actually pretty excited to go in for my second of my two night shifts tonight. Looking forward to the very busy and eventful weekend that I have lined up ahead. But before I go in for my night shift tonight, I have a quick Jay Walker POV birthday shout out to one of the biggest Jay Walker POV fans out there. A person who has actually made several Jay Walker POV live from last week cameos in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Edouave. Happy birthday, Edouave. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Which actually reminds me that actually tomorrow we have a little bit of a surprise lined up just for him. So coming directly off night shift, going home, eating breakfast, then not being able to sleep, throwing back to that surprise that I was telling you guys about yesterday, I'm back at the Scarborough GO train station to meet up with my cousin Faye and surprise Edouave on his GO train. Yo, hey, did you trip out? I did. I got a message. Get the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, you didn't make it. Yo, I made it. I made it. So Duave, what'd you think about your birthday game for the Blue Jays? Well, I'm glad they won on behalf of my birthday, so I appreciate that. Yeah! Who the hell is that guy? But yeah, guys, that was a pretty fun afternoon. After trying to trip out my cousin Faye, telling her that I actually missed the train in a couple of text messages that I sent her earlier, going to the Dome and watching the Jays game, with some special guest appearances from a couple of my cousins, randomly meeting Robert and being introduced to his fiance, as well as getting this giveaway of the Jordan Romano Blue Jays hat, going there to celebrate Eduave's birthday, and seeing the Blue Jays come back from two runs down to win in extra innings.
anyways guys it's time to wrap it up for today try to catch up from all the sleep that i lost from not sleeping post night shift earlier rehydrate and i'll catch you guys again tomorrow morning good morning y'all after yet another night of minimal sleep i am now here at exhibition place but before i tell you guys why exactly i'm here we have a couple birthday greetings for you guys today Starting off with one of my cool former co-workers who would call me crazy for running marathons after my night shifts. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Shri. Happy birthday, Shri. Next up, I got a birthday greeting to one of the most talented volleyball players I know. And this birthday shout out goes out to my cousin-in-law, Christine. Happy birthday, Christine. I'm hoping that everybody out there that's celebrating their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthday this year. And before we continue on, let's quickly head outside. So I don't know if y'all can hear me, but after a long awaited three years waiting, I'm taking Tito Eddie back here at Exhibition Place and wearing pretty much the same thing that I wore a couple years back to experience the 2022 Honda Indy. Man, was that ever a fun time catching the Honda Indy with the one and only Tito Eddie, as well as taking a couple of these slow motion videos? But I forgot to tell you guys that there was a special guest in this episode that I actually ran into at the race today. You got the code, sir! <laughs> Y'all run into this guy! What's up, man? <laughs> man, Codester, it was great running into you a little bit earlier. Seeing that the last time I actually ran into you was when we went to Blue Mountain for snowboarding in the winter. Anyways, guys, it's time to wrap up for today. Drive my baby Rouge back home, catch up on some sleep, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Scratcher, I actually go to Sunday Mass here at St. Maria Goretti. Get some gas for Rouge at the cheapest rate it's been in months. And then, only then, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. So guys, after that crazy busy weekend, I've actually stayed in all day editing this exact Live From Last Week episode 82 video just for you guys. And before I get ready to go in for my first of my two night shifts tonight, we got a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with a beach volleyball friend of mine who I played with in a tournament last summer. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Natalie. Happy birthday, Natalie. Next up, a birthday shout out to one of my old dance teachers from when I was a youth who is also a big fan of Fosse. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sherry. Happy birthday, Sherry. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my old elementary school friends of whom has her own business, Tasha's Geeky Charm, and who I'm greeting a happy birthday today. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Natasha. Happy birthday, Tasha. I'm hoping that everybody out there that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this week's busy and hectic Live From Last Week episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, 
and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.